Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, Kim. First in today, Kim. How are you? Oh, I'm tired today. Oh, quite a few coming. Quite a few come bursting. Hello, Joy. How are you? Was that a wedding picture I see on your page? Hello, Alan. I'm all right. Thank you. I'm a bit tired. Uh, good afternoon, jo Jacqueline. I'm good. Thank you. Princess says, just sewing at the moment. Oh, what are you making? Good, Princess. Uh, afternoon, everyone, says Catherine. Uh, Yoo-hoo, says Mari. Uh, another Marie says, good afternoon, John. How are the cats? They're fast asleep on the bed. Fran says, I old. Okay, good. I'm just a bit knackered. Yvette says, hi, John. All been too long since I've been on here. Claire says, afternoon, John. All lovely shirt. How was the wedding? Beautiful. Afternoon, John, from Sunny Garden in Suffolk. It's lovely. Here's why I'm going to go in the ice tub in a minute. Brenda says, good afternoon. Pauline says, hello. June. Oh, June, I brought the... I brought this with me, June, to show you what Mandy did with that. Uh, enjoy, oh, June enjoyed the morning with Mandy. Uh, Andrew says, hello, John and all. Going to get them washing out while it's dry. Afternoon, says Sue. Fran's trying to balance plaid stripes. Michelle says, hello, darling. Nice to see you. Audrey says, uh, afternoon, all. Mandy, hi, John. My new iron stopped working today. No. No. The big one. <clears throat> uh, that's weird, Mandy. You che double checked everything's all right. Switched it on and everything. Oh, dear. There's nothing worse than when you get something new and it doesn't work. But I suppose in the, in the thousands we bought, there's bound to be one dodgy one, isn't there? Uh, Veronica says, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Veronica. Donna says, afternoon, John and all. Good afternoon. Uh, Mandy, the feet are not going back in. Oh, no. Oh. We're, at least it's the big one. At least we, we, we can replace it for you because we've got stock of that. Hello from Rye, one and all, uh, says Tina. Uh, no, Fran, it won't be the fuse in the plug because that's all sealed. That's all sealed. It won't be the fuse in the plug. Also, uh, it won't switch on if it was the fuse in the plug. It would still, it wouldn't just be, it wouldn't just be the legs. Uh, hello, 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 hello. What news has everybody got? How are you all? Have you seen who's looking at me from down there? Um... Oh, no, the messages have just stopped. I wonder if something's happened. Oh, no, there they are. Hello, John, everyone. You're very tan today. No, that's still the makeup from this morning. Wednesday was brilliant. Thanks, Jane. Another Jane says, hi, John. Pat says, afternoon, John. No, Car hello, Elf. Uh, just doing a bit of EPP while watching you. Pauline says, hello, John. Lovely programmes with Mandy this morning. They were, weren't they? Prinhorn Dar says, Marie. Jan says, good afternoon. Donna says, hello, John. Karen from Wigan, afternoon all. You might need to shout. I'm on the overlocker. Oh, cranky. Mandy says, I found out they're replacing it. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant, 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 Mandy. Is that so? Uh, well, good. Uh, Julie Vaughan says, hello, everyone. Sam, have you made the shirt yet, Julie Vaughan? Sam says, hi, John. Silla says, afternoon. Nicholas says, lovely to catch up with you this week. Tucking into broccoli and cheese soup. Oh, that sounds divine. Right on, somebody's pulling up outside my house. Um... Princess says, sewing amber makes carpenter star. Uh, Carol says, afternoon, John and all. Violet says, hello, John. Hope you're doing okay. Hello, everyone. Ollie says, hello from Bexhill on Sea. All right, Ollie, how are you? Just remembered, you messaged me, 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 me to message my friend, Ollie. Uh, Lizzie says, hello. Julie Vaughan says, great shirt. Thank you very much indeed. Thomas says hello. Christine says afternoon, gorgeous. Mark says hi, John, and everyone else. Hope you're enjoying the great weather. Well, I've only just got back. I've not long been back. And then the personal trainer couldn't come. So I was here in my PE kit. He didn't turn up. But actually, I'm quite pleased because I was really tired. Didn't sleep last night. Hello from Tyne and Weir, says Leslie. Jane says loving your shirt. Thank you. Hope the card I sent for Delphine. Oh, blimey, Fran. That could take forever to get there. The post in that place is dreadful. Uh, Sandra Carlos, hi John, everyone loved the show this morning, thank you, Anne's has great shows this week on Threads of Life, how's the kitchen coming on, it's finished, the kitchen's all, well, as far as I know, I haven't been there since the last time I filmed, Helen says hello John, Deborah says hi everyone, going to unbox my Elna 680 after this, been putting on for three months, three months Deborah. Ollie's good, uh, Jacqueline said I went to car boot this morning and feeling exhausted. Is it time for bed yet? Not long. Lintuit says hello, John. Fran says you had a very full week. Not surprised. I know. 
I know, it's been a mammoth week. Hello, Alison. No sound for me at the moment. Just watching New Kitchen being fitted. Oh, very nice. I'd love for a new kitchen. I just can't afford it. I wish I could get Sound Street on my TV, but I have to Sky... But I have Sky Steam. Steam? You tell it works by Steam, Julie. Uh, for a great show today, Mandy, our usual FFS is up. She was tired. She was really tired. And how stupid taking all those people in that van on holiday. This is my rehydration drink from when, my, when I should have been doing my PE earlier. Um, Jane, did I see some better crew? Oh, Jane, you're way behind. Yeah, we launched it ages ago. Go to my website. Not my website, on my Facebook page and you'll see it. Uh, Sally, hello, John. Decluttering ready for moving house. All my material has to go. Oh, Sally, have you got no room for it in the new place? Oh, look at this. Look what I did this week. Oh, no. Ridiculous. Uh, I ha Oh, Sky Steam. Oh, it is a thing. I thought it was a, a spelling mistake. So, Sue says, I've got Sky Steam, but I watch it on my TV via the YouTube. Oh, there you go. There you go. Who said that about Steam a minute ago then? Julie, you can watch it. Go to YouTube on your Steam and you'll be able to watch it. How brilliant. I hope she's going to pick that poo up. This lady's just let her dog poo on the village green and I didn't see her pick it up. Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, so, uh, so yeah, my week. Let's have a think. So I, I was here last Sunday, wasn't I? So you know about my car breaking down after my blowout. So then on Monday... Oh, yes, Monday I got all my stuff sorted because I was going away for the wedding and everything like that. Stream, stream, not steam, stream. Uh, oh, then Tuesday, I was running around. I told Alex, personal trainer, not to come because I wouldn't get everything done in time to leave. And I was going to leave for Dorset late morning, early lunchtime so I could stop. Christine said she'd knock on the window. Uh, can you? I doubt it. I doubt it. I don't. They're old now anyway. I shouldn't be wearing these anymore. I don't know why Christine says she'd knock on my window. Oh, knock on the window about the lady doing the poo. Yeah, but I'd have to move the desk and everything. I can't do that. Um, and there you go. That's how Michelle watches Sound Street as well, on stream. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Hillary watching you whilst on holiday in Cheltenham. Oh, very nice, Hillary. Who's going to cook in the kitchen first? I uh, can't tell you, but it'll be me. It'll be me. Um, uh, anyway, anyway, um... Oh, yes, yeah, so Tuesday. I've no team on workroom, still can't get Sound Street on Facebook. Think they've blocked me. So I can only watch on YouTube. Um, it's really weird. Um, a few people have said that. You cleared your cookies out recently, um, everyone. Uh, everyone, uh, Karen. Right, so so then Tuesday. So I'm about to leave to go to the wedding on Wednesday in Dorset. And I get a call from the IT person saying, why have you deleted the security off your computer just now? And I said, I'm not getting in the car anyway. You better go indoors. So I came indoors. Afternoon, lovely John Noel. Hope everyone's well. We are good. Thank you, Lou. Um, anyway, came in. Somebody got into my computer. No space, little time to the immediate future. I feel sure I'll pick it up again at some point. Keeping my machine. Though, yeah, you have to do that, Sally. You have to do that. Um, uh, anyway, um, there was somebody in my computer trying to transfer money to Nigeria, trying to buy £12,000 of stuff from Victoria Plumbing. Oh, it was awful. It was awful. They cleared everything out. They had all my passwords. They tried to take a picture of me. Uh, everything. Uh, everything. Uh, who you talking to there, Fran? Me? Oh, no. Uh, uh, Karen. Karen. Um, anyway, anyway. Um, so it took hours and hours. They fixed it. Now. It's all sorted now. Nobody took any money. But it was really horrible because they were obviously aware that I'd got somebody checking up on them. And they started sending me really, really horrible messages on my screen there. On my screen. They were just vile. So I felt really stupid and it was horrible and I hate it. I hate computers. Then I got in my car to drive to Dorset, not realising there was no motorway to Dorset. So it was hours and hours down little A roads. Do they not have an address of where they talk? Well, that's what I couldn't understand, Kim. I couldn't understand that either. Um... But when I was at this morning, um, somebody uh, cat hacked into my ITV card. They bought loads of furniture and I said exactly the same thing. Well, surely you must know where it's been delivered. No idea, Andrew. No idea at all. Apparently I must have clicked on something that I shouldn't have clicked on. 
uh, apparently, but the IT man's looking at it now. I know, Claire, it was really horrible, really horrible. But they were sending me messages going, you moron, we've got your money. You, and I won't say the words they used, they were swearing at me and everything. It was horrible. Anyway, so then I'm on the A roads going all the way to Dorset. And all the way there, I was in a bad mood anyway. And all the way there, I kept saying, why do these brides have to get married so far from home? Why do these brides have to do this? Why do they have to do that? Oh, I know, it's a violation, Lynn. It was horrible. But it's fine now. I'm all sorted now. Got over it now. Um, but I do, uh, I am wary if I get an email from somebody I don't know or the phone rings and I don't know who it is. Mind you, I never pick my phone up. Never pick my phone up if it was me. Uh, anyway, anyway, the wedding uh, then. So that was Tuesday night. Sam, neither do I. They're all they're rich. That's how they sleep because they got lots of money. I know, Christine, it was vile. It was really, really vile. Uh, hi, all just made it. Was in an accident six days ago. Oh, no. I tell you, oh, dear. Uh, right. It's not something they check. Uh, if you buy, bought 12,000. No, no, no. It's not that we're going to check it. They weren't going to check it, but like, uh, surely the police could find where it would be delivered to. Diane, good afternoon, John. Just tuned in to hear all the horrid things happen. Yeah, it's gone now. We've got that negativity. It's gone now. All gone, all gone, all gone. Uh, no, Liz, you haven't missed much. You can just catch up later. You've only 11 minutes late. Um, so anyway, so then on the morning of the wedding, uh, I went downstairs in the hotel. The hotel was lovely. Uh, went, oh, no, I'll tell you on the Tuesday evening, I had the steamer in my car. Uh, oh, I can put more pictures up now, Kim, because they've, they've now published more pictures. So I'll better put more pictures up. Um, so I was a bit late getting there. So Luciano came to the hotel to uh, pick up the steamer. Uh, that's right, Anne, don't you worry. And uh, Sarah, uh, Francesca had sent all these little tubs of food for me because she knew I hadn't eaten everything. So I sat in my hotel room. Well, I was sitting outside eating it and then they had a huge rainstorm. Then on the morning of the wedding, Wednesday morning, I went down to have my breakfast in the hotel and um hello Anne, lovely to see you too. Uh Emma, Alfie and John, M next door here. I'm doing a bit of sewing. Great seeing you, Mandy, this morning. Hope you enjoyed the wedding. I'm just telling them now, Emma. Uh so I went down and in the in the um the hotel was lovely. It was like faded grandeur, Christine. Fade uh, my room wasn't as big as Vivi's. Uh anyway, so I um I went to breakfast and Vivi was there and Vivi used to be, uh, sorry, uh, hello Lorraine, that's fine, all's good, thanks. Um, so, um, did you have to confiscate men? No, I'll get to that, Karen, I've not got to the wedding yet, I'm just having my breakfast on the morning, aren't I? So Vivi was there, Vivi used to be Serafina's and Luciano's um, nanny. So I've known her for 28 years, I think. So I saw her and her husband, Johnny, and their two kids, and it was really nice to see them and everything. Then uh, I went for a wander around the little town and it was such an old fashioned town. They had like a gun shop and a felting shop and a fashion museum. It was like going back in time. It was incredible. But I went to Costa Coffee, had a coffee, went back to the hotel, started getting ready. Halfway through getting ready, um, Gordner, one of our friends, rang me up and said, oh, I'm not going to get there in time. Hello, Paula. Don't worry. I'm not going to get there in time to come to the hotel first. I'm going straight to the venue. Can you pick up my keys from downstairs? Hello, Denise. We're all good. Thanks. So I was half dressed in my tuxedo and I had no top on. So I put my old shirt on, went downstairs. So I've got to collect Gordon's um, key. They went, yes, here it is. By the time I got back, it says the cleaners were in my room. And I was like, oh, I'm just in the middle of getting dressed. There was one Chinese one and one, I think she might have been Polish. Couldn't speak any English at all. So they were like, yes, yes. So I then had to have sit on the landing. Hello, hello. Oh, she's at the Rewind Festival. Have you actually paid for it this year? Or are you uh, on the field across the river from it? Uh, anyway, uh, so uh, I had to sit on the landing. It was beautiful. Big up velvet armchair on the landing. The landing was bigger than most of my house. Anyway, uh, waited for them to finish. Went back in. They cleaned it like a new person was going in. Like they washed the floors. Not that old fashioned. No, no, Costa Coffee wasn't old fashioned. That was the most modern thing in the um, in the town. Anyway, I um, they eventually went, got ready, took that picture they put on Facebook, went downstairs, and I was giving a lift to uh, Amanda and Jamie. Oh, uh, off to the Sunshine Festival here. Oh, Holly. Oh, I got Holly. What's his name? Frankie goes to Hollywood to send Lo a message on her birthday one year. They, Fran, they didn't understand. They couldn't understand what I was saying. So I just thought well, it doesn't matter. The hotel was called The Crown. The Crown, it was called, in... 
I can't remember what it was called now. Something major. Drumfield major or something like that. Uh, anyway, anyway. Um, so then I, I was giving Amanda and Jamie a lift. And I rang them and said, where are you? So we're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Uh, Johnson, that's right. Uh, we're nearly there. So I waited in my car. Then they arrived. We drove to the venue. Blandford Forum. Thank you, Lou. Blandford Forum. That's where it is. Blandford Forum. Uh, anyway, so uh, we got to the venue uh, and it'd been pouring down with rain all morning. It wasn't raining. All the chairs were set out outside. And the wedding was actually in the garden with the peacocks wandering around. Uh, luckily, it stayed nice all day. It didn't rain all day. It wasn't bright sunshine. But you know what? In some ways, it's quite good to, because we would have been, there was no cover. So we'd have been right underneath the sun. So we, um, so we uh, watched the wedding. We all had to switch our phones off for during the wedding, which I understand. I'm just looking at my pictures now. And then after the wedding, Pete and Luciano and a few others were singing a song, singing songs. Look, here they are. Look, this... Oh, hang on, let me just do that. Look. So there's Pete at the front, Pete Briquette from the Boomtown Rats. That's Luciano, my godson. That was James, the dad of Dan who got married. And then I've cut off the other people. But there was a really lovely, like, it was all these follies. And if, look, 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 look. Look. So they were playing the band in there. They were in there. So we all listened to some music to start with. Uh, and then, I've shown you that one. Then we went off to the venue. Look, we all got serviettes with our names embroidered on them. Um... And then we, uh, this is Francesca. I was sitting opposite Francesca. This is Francesca. That's my other friend, Amanda, there. She's the location manager for all the big um, Marvel films and things like that. Uh, what else? I didn't take very many pictures. Um, this was the, ve it doesn't look that good. This That was the venue where we all had our dinner. That's Rosebud there. Um, anyway. Uh, so we had a really, really nice time. Then we uh, went outside and we sat outside chatting. So that's uh, Amanda, who's a, works with, uh, like same as Francesca. Then there was Gordy, uh, who's a publisher. Then there was Emma, who's a film financier. Then there was Amanda, who you saw earlier. Koki, the director. Caroline, the ex-film uh, producer, was there. And then that's it. Didn't take any more pictures. Um, right, hang on. I go in every year. Now, wasn't there one year, Lo, where you parked the motorhome on the other side of the river and you listened to the music from the other side of the river? It's like you'd have rain on your wedding day. Well, it rained. It didn't rain during it. Uh, my friend's a wedding photographer and she said you'd get better pics when... Yeah, exactly, when it's not bright sunshine. Exactly. Um, a track said that colour co co is beautiful, Francesca. It is indeed. Um, Francesca looks stunning, yep. Do they still have chimney sweeps at wedding? Are you sh you're showing your age, Liz. There was no chimney sweep there. There were peacocks. <clears throat> there were peacocks were out wandering around making an awful lot of noise. Anyway, the food, it was a lovely day, Karen. Oh, so, no, I didn't have to do any bow ties. I didn't have to worry about any bow ties whatsoever. Uh, Denise had nice weather on all three of her weddings. <laughs> oh, hang on. Had nice wear dot on all three wedding days. That's why I'm happily single again. Ah, uh, oh, our chimney sweep does weddings. Well, no, I suppose you would if you're home or something. Uh, we always park on the other side, not with the riffraff. Says Lo. Well, don't be saying that because the riffraff might be watching. Uh, anyway, so we got into the so no ties. Didn't have to do any ties. We went down for for the food, and uh, I knew it was all vegan, but it was all vegan Indian curries, and I was like, oh no. Not fan, not fan. Anyway, the food was divine. And what was really lovely, I was a bit worried because I said to Francesca, oh, they'll have nuts in and coconut in and everything. No, they did them all nut-free. All of them were nut-free. So um, I uh, had a delicious, it was delicious, a delicious. And then we had vegan, a vegan wedding cake afterwards. Um, and it was really, really lovely. And we had some really um, beautiful 
non-alcoholic sparkling wine. That was nice. Well, normally it's not very nice, is it? Hi, everyone. Sorry, late to party. Been in bed sick for the last four days. You look very dapper in your pre-wedding photo. Thank you, Tracy. Hope you're feeling better, my love. Uh, so then we were, we, after the food, we sat outside chatting and catching up and everything. And the kids played cricket and croquet and uh, badminton. Uh, and then we went back in and there was a band and we all danced in the orangery. Uh, and then at half past nine, more food came out. That was all like falafels and hummus and um, salsa. It was delicious, really delicious. And then they finished at 11. So uh, everyone got quite, not quite emotional, but the whole family were emotional and everything like that. Hello, Lisa, my love. Uh, so I took her back to the hotel. I took Gordy, Amanda and uh, Jamie back to the hotel. Uh, went to bed, was so tired, so tired. Uh, woke up the next morning, went downstairs for my breakfast. Vivi hadn't bothered getting up, so I saw Johnny and sat with Johnny and the kids. Then they were having a big breakfast, uh, and everyone was coming to the hotel for breakfast. They weren't arriving until 10, half past 10. So I kind of said hello to them all, got in my car and drove home, because it was like a long drive home for me down the little A roads. And I had to get petrol and things. So it was lovely. It was really, really, really nice. So that was Thursday. And those of you who are, um, just wave to Lisa on the phone. Uh, oh, you're watching this on the phone. You wave to Lisa. Uh, she said hello, everyone. Um, so I had to come back because those of you who follow me on Threads of Life, I had a 6 p.m. subscribers chat on uh, Thursday. So I had to get back for that. Then Friday, I just did all my chores, saw my personal trainer. Saturday was yesterday. I was in Sewing Street. And then Sunday, in Sewing Street again today. So that's my week. That's been my week so far. So I'm knackered. I didn't sleep very well last night. Don't know why. I had weird, weird dreams. Uh, and I'm hungry now. I'm really, really hungry because I didn't eat coming home because I thought I was doing my personal training. And then I didn't. So now I'm just drinking my rehydration drink. Oh, excuse me. Right. Shall I tell you uh, what Daniel's had to say this week? Coming up this week on Threads of Life. Tomorrow... Fabric flowers, I didn't know I'd even film that, and the men's trouser zip with Rebecca Harrison, that's her last one, that's her last one, come to Upton and see Holly, oh no I can't, I'm too knackered, I'm going to bed in a minute, I haven't seen you in ages, no, no not low, since, since uh, Covid, when you were in that pub in, um, by the river in uh, Stratford. Um, uh, so, so we've got Fabric Flowers and Men's Trousers It with Rebecca tomorrow. That's her last one, last of her recording so far. Wednesday, Loose Threads with Claire Cummings and Stuart Race. Now, I know a few of you have, um, not a few, a couple of people commented. Why the last Rebecca? She came and she did three days of solid filming. So hers have all been used now. So unless she comes in again to do more, then that's all of hers been shown. Oh, next weekend. Oh, no, next weekend. I'm afraid next weekend I'm off to Warrington to film Threads of Life. So I won't be around next weekend. Uh, no, Rebecca's those threads are brilliant, aren't they? But she filmed three days worth right at the very beginning. Uh, so she had lots and lots of them. So unless she comes back in. Oh, no, not on Sewing Street, Denise. Keep up. Threads of Life. Threads of Life. This is what I'm reading out now. Threads of Life. So tomorrow, Fabric Flowers and Men's Trousers It with Rebecca Harrison. Then on Wednesday, oh, that's what I was saying. So a few people had said about, oh, Stuart's very quiet. Stuart's, why you all talked over Stuart? We didn't know at the time. Hello, Margaret, mini baby bell. Listening whilst preparing our evening meal. 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 What a busy week you've had. Oh, yeah, exactly. Don't worry, Denise. Don't worry. We all do it. Yes, a senior moment. Um, and a lot of people going, oh, um, you've all talked over Stuart. It wasn't until after the week he went home. And uh, he'd got COVID and he wasn't feeling very well. So that's why he's a bit quiet. Your life is super amazing. Oh, Diana, it's exhausting, I tell you. So that's Loose Threads on Wednesday. Then on Friday, Jules Fallon. Meet the designer, Jules Fallon. So we went to her um, space, her maker space, uh, a few months ago now and filmed her there. Uh, John, we're driving home from Bristol. So you're keeping us entertained, including Nubby. Tell him to keep his eyes on the road, Janet, not on me. You know what these husbands are like. Uh, so meet the designer on Fridays with Jules Fallon. Now, D 
did, I don't know why people go, oh, yes, uh, Julie Vaughan, uh, I know, it, it's only a couple of people just said, oh, you all talked over Stuart. And that's been the only negativity we received through the whole thing, through the whole thing. Keeps me young, keeps me knackered, Claire. Uh, anyway, so did you see on Friday a new strand called Friends of John? Thanks to Daniel, I managed to get the cruise book. Oh, Sylvia, book for me and my twin, Leslie. Oh, Turns out Martin must have got me muddled up with another Sylvia and thought he'd rung me. He was so lovely, I forgave him. Oh, brilliant, Sylvia. See you there. God, there's two more. I'll tell you more about the cruise in a minute. Hello, John. Love to tune in. Just waiting for the family to arrive for lunch. It's a bit late for lunch, Jean. You mean, I suppose it's a late lunch, isn't it? Sunday lunch, yeah. Uh, so, did you see? I've started a new strand called Friends of John. And Lynn Jinx was on on Friday. That was the last, the first one we did. Uh, Crystal, Crystal Therapist she is now. Um, so go and watch it. Then next week I'll tell you all about the session that I went for. Uh, when when uh, She's brilliant. She's brilliant. I didn't think it was going to be any good and she was absolutely brilliant. Um, now, coming soon. Oh, this is Friends of John. Coming soon. Sheila Brayshaw, Karen from Wigan and my private doctor, Dr. Jeff. Dr. Jeff. Daniel is so good with sorting the stuff out. He's brilliant, Julie. He's absolutely brilliant of all that. Fran, make sure you do catch up. Uh, oh, yeah, Lynn's watched it. Very interesting, she said. A lot of you all know she's, she was on Gems, Gems TV for years and years and years. Oh, Sue, just noticed the time. Hello, one. You're only 26 minutes late, Sue. You need to set an alarm. You need to set an alarm. So that's more Friends of Life coming in the future. Um, I'm going there to film uh, the last three days of this week. And uh, who have I got? I think I've got Rebecca Reed, Susie Duncan, and Julie. Julie, my sister-in-law. We're all uh, we're all filming in, in, at the end of the month, uh, right? And then don't forget when is Helen McCook back, John? Oh, I don't know, Sue. Uh, you mean you mean on Sewing Street? Let me see if I can quickly have a look for you. Uh, that's this week. Can't be this week. Uh, uh. Oh, she's not down for a lot. Oh, no. Oh, uh, she's not down. Hang on. She's not down. She's not She's not in the diary yet. Hang on, just go. Oh, I'm in the middle of October now. Oh, no. Well, if she's doing no quick... Oh, I see. If uh, There she is. She's definitely on on the 15th of October doing Oakwood Archer. So she, I might have missed her. So no, she's definitely doing that. Uh, met Rebecca at Festival Quilt. She's a real hoot, lovely lady. She is indeed linked to it. Had a bit of a few days to get my garage ready for my new Moxie. Can't wait for it to be delivered, says Lisa. My internet keeps going off. I'm Mr. Salas to catch up later. Yes, Christine, you will. Um, hang on, there's another message here. Lisa. Oh, hello, Lisa Long Duffy from Sandringham. Ooh, you're there with all the soldiers. Uh, anyway, 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 what was I saying? Uh, questioning, you were asking. Thrown me now. Uh, hello from Sally Tewksbury, says Claire. Uh, 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 I can't remember what I was saying now. Anyway, I'll go back to, so I've done Dan. Oh, no, I know. If you've got any questions, filming in the kitchen, if you've got any questions for Dr. Mike, you need to get them in soon. We're doing a menopause special. Um, we're doing a statin special. And we're doing any other questions you've got. Uh, I haven't got to the cruise yet, Denise. I haven't got to the cruise. Oh, yes, well... Um, I will tell you that uh, loads of people, loads more people have booked this week. So uh, Julie's thinking of coming as well. Hi from Durham. My first time tuning in. Loving your chat. Oh, thank you, Lynn. Thank you. Uh, the cruise is getting really, really booked now. It's fantastic. Um, what I'm worried about is some people have booked the cruise via Sky Princess, not via, not via us and they're saying oh can we still come to all the things and it's like no no you, the, the whole idea is you book through us to be able to come from all the things oh danielle hi john back from holiday in america oh very nice 
Danielle Courtier-Jones. Um, so anyway, yeah, so the cruise is really, really... So if, uh, now, if you've got any questions, have you watched the film? Have you watched the film on the, on the site or on my website or on my Facebook with me and Daniel, uh, where he answers lots of questions? So uh, if you've got any more questions before you book, then let me know. Let me know. But as you saw, Sylvia's book this week. Um, and then uh, you can still book whenever. Hello, Josephine, my love. You can book whenever, but the sooner you do it and pay your £50 deposit, that means you're... I'm posh not, says Danielle. Um, uh, the sooner you pay your £50 deposit, the sooner you've secured your price and it won't cost you any more. Right, so that's that. Daniel and I are having a meeting. Derek was so good in the film. Yes, he was, Fran. Uh, could they cancel then report? Well, yes, Carol, except they had to pay a £400 deposit, which they won't get back if they cancel. So they can't. We did suggest that. And we said, well, we're only a £50 deposit. And they, they've been charged £400 deposit. And um, they can't get that back if they cancel and rebook. So sadly, they can't come on my bit of the cruise. I mean, they'll see me round the ship, but they won't be able to come to the stitch and bitch. They won't be able to do anything that we are planning to do. So um, I know, not good. Uh, so that's, 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 that's Threads of Life. That's the cruise, right? Let's talk about uh, Sewing Street this week then. Uh, I'm on three days this week coming up. On Tuesday, it's a very full day on Tuesday, uh, yeah, exactly. Non-refundable. Exactly. Uh, Tuesday, Catherine Wright is on with me. Sandy Chocolate Chip Cookie is on with me. And Steffi Stern is on with me. Don't know how we're all going to fit all those in, in one day. That's Tuesday. Then Wednesday, I've got Delphine and I've got Narissa Pratt on uh, Wednesday. Then on Thursday, I'm in Belfast at Yvonne McAtamney's, um Quilt Fair on Thursday. I know... I'm, I'm beginning to regret saying, um, saying, you know, I'd go and do it all in one day. So I've got to leave here at the crack of dawn, get to Birmingham Airport, get on the aeroplane, get to Ireland. A tractor's picking me up, do the whole day. And then Yvonne's very naughty. She's sorted and she's done. Oh, you're doing a show, a quest, a tell, a tell all at five o'clock in the afternoon. Then I've got to race to the airport to get the eight o'clock plane back. I know. Uh, so, so that's Thursday. And then Saturday... I could stay off on Friday. Uh, Saturday, I've got Raymond Story from Lady McElroy. Delphine's fine. And if you look on the Facebook, she put a post up today. She's in pain. She's fine. She had the first operation. I didn't think she'd be coming in on Wednesday, but she says she is coming in on Wednesday. Um, so she's fine. Thank you. Uh, so Saturday, Raymond Story from uh, Lady McElroy and Stuart Hillard from Stuart Hillard on Saturday. So that's that. That's that. So then, uh, so if you're going to be in Belfast, I'm there on th Thursday, 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 Thursday. Uh, now, uh, about Dr. Mike as well. Dr. Mike is, is doing a dancing thing for charity, for Maggie's charity. Uh, you better give your love on Wednesday if you tune in on Wednesday. Um, I, I'd love if you go and sponsor him. It, the the, the, the um, link is on my Facebook page. Uh, yes, yeah, stage one has been done, Fran. Yes. She had the first operation this week. She's gone private and then the big operation's coming up later. Uh, then uh, on the 19th of September, just so you know, I'm doing a Maggie's fashion show in Chester. So if you want to come to that, the tickets, or I'll put the, the link for tickets up there. And then on the 1st of September, I've got a party in the park in Pebworth, which is the next village, two villages up from me. Uh, I've got a meeting for that on Tuesday night. They want to cut me out of a car. They want the fire brigade to cut me out of a car. I oh, know. I'm not too... I said, have you got good insurance? And I've not heard from them since. So that's all my news. That's everything I've got to tell you. I'm having um, spinach and feta cheese salad with, um, with uh, hummus and pita bread. Oh, Brenda, that's very kind of you. I've sponsored Dr. Mike. I'm sure he'll smash it. Smash it. I'm sure he will because he's a perfectionist on everything, but he won't want to look silly. So he really will practice hard. I know he will. Um, um, the Panthers are fine. They're both asleep on my bed. In fact, the sun's going in now. I was going to go and get in the cold tub. Oh, do you know what I've done? I've not switched off the garden sprinkler. It's been on for an hour. Uh, that means they haven't. And what does that mean? That means they haven't. Oh, got insurance, yeah. Fire brigade are very useful at handing jaws of life. 
don't know what that means. Oh, you might, well that, so Tracy, I said, will they be topless? And she, the woman came back, she obviously doesn't know me, and she went, well, I don't think we're allowed, I don't think there's that many lady fire people, and I don't think they'll be allowed to set the top off. So I kind of left it at that, didn't say anything. Anyway, 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 I better go, because I've got to switch the, I've forgotten about the garden sprinkler. I'll have used a year's worth of water since I've been up here chatting. I meant to switch it off before I came up here and I've just remembered it's still on. Having my aura red on Thursday. Oh, Denise, that's brilliant. Where are you having that done? Answer me quickly. Answer me quickly. I used to have mine done in Gerard's Cross. Uh, Yvonne used to do mine. And I loved it. My own lawns had to get cut out of their car after a car because they said the noise was awful. There you go. Goodness, have you got a water meter? Yes, Claire. Yes, I have. Princess is laughing at me now. I know, completely, I nearly swore as well. Local witch, oh, oh, very nice, Denise. Andrew, at least the garden will get a good drink. Yes, it certainly will. It'll be, sw it'll be a swimming pool by the time I go down there. Uh, anyway, I've got to go, got to go, got to go. Jacqueline says, have a lovely night's sleep. Well, I will do, don't I? Sweet potato, home is it's Oh, that's nice, Lynn, to it. Lou says, Trial, John, have a lovely week. And you too. Jane says, thanks for the afternoon. Take it easy tonight. Well, all I'm going to be doing is watching telly. That's all I'm going to do tonight. I'm not doing anything else. Oh, no, I've got some parcels to wrap, but that's all. Uh, Sue says bye. Christine says have a lovely evening. I will, Christine. Thank you very much indeed. Carol says bye. Uh, Denise says bye. Take care all. Oh, hang on. I've got some message. Use this one. Oh, how funny it said I had a... Oh, right, I see. Uh, have a good week, says Andrew. Trace says have a fab week. But for, bye, says Fran. Thanks for the chat. Be happy. Brenda says bye all. Thanks, Brenda, for sponsoring Mike as well. Princess says bye. Uh, don't forget, uh, uh, thanks John, bye everyone. I'm on Sewing Street, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, Belfast, Thursday. And I'll see you then. Right, I'm going. Take care everyone, lots of love. Uh, see you soon. Bye Yvette, my love, take care. Bye Marie, I uh, hope you're well. Thank you for my hearts and my kisses. Sandra Scala says, bye, have a good week. I will do, thank you very much indeed. Donna says, have a lovely evening. I will, you too, Donna. Treating myself to a full DMC thread chest, taking hours and hours to sort. Wow, lovely, Sue. So. Kim says, thank you. Oh, I didn't I, I, I'll put some pictures of the wedding up in a minute. Uh, go, John, says Liz. Kathy says, bye. Kim says, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Only about, about an hour left, haven't I? Bye, all. See you on Sound Street, says Julie Vaughan. Anne says, have a good week, and bye, all. Will do. Uh, Sue says, bye. Take care. I'm pressing the button right now. Lean to it, says, bye, everyone. There was no June today. Oh, June, we forgot to talk about this. Never mind. Bye. <laughs>